brain is off of the gourd. It's leather dye. It's used for le dyeing leather, but it works great on the porous gourd. So some of these are the color is changed because of the leather dye. And then the little geckos are black acrylic. And then the little dots are fabric paint because it gets puffy and it'll dry hard. Maybe I like the smell of it. It's so like a, nice. It's kind of <clears throat> alcohol based. It's soothing. It's calming. Uh, it's close to nature. Everything smells earthy. The gourd smells earthy. The burning is um, a nice sensation when it's when it's being burned. Creative process, and it just it's something that you don't ordinarily do you know like a regular job or something it's something that you create not out of nothing but out of your imagination and you can see the results um, come to fruition with each project that you do it just it's just real enjoyable to work with and it's a challenge because it's not a flat surface it's very challenging to do the artwork in that in a circumference like that I just really enjoy it, and the, the, the skin of the gourd is, is very hard, like wood-like, but it also has um, molding textures in it, so sometimes you can make your design around that. And this one also, once we cleaned the skin off of it, that modeling was so beautiful, it, it's so earthy. So we left it. We just sealed it. It's not stained or anything. It's just sealed. I think the, the first impression is like, wow. You know, people who, like you, you said, gourds. Like, well, how do you, what is that? But there's, there's a lot of things you can do with gourds. And most people come in and they just go close to them. They don't stand back and look at them like you would a picture. They get close and they want to touch them. They want to pick them up. They, um, they want to touch them. I just think it's exciting. I mean, each piece is so different. You can't make two alike. Mm -mm. So it's, it's just exciting. It's fun.